The UN General Assembly has passed a resolution calling on Iran to clear up outstanding questions about its atomic program. However, Tehran says it's enriching uranium for peaceful purposes and claims the word merely strengthens the, its resolve. And for more on this, we're now joined live by Shireen uh, Sifai. Um, uh, Shireen, thank you so much indeed for joining us. So what does this resolution mean for Iran after four previous sets of international sanctions already? Um, sorry, can you repeat the question? I yes, of hear course, you. of course. So what does this re resolution mean for Iran after four previous sets of international sanctions already? Yes, I mean, it is just emphasizing on the um, idea that has already been uh, acquired by Iran and other countries regarding the uh, role of IAEA in this uh, whole issue. I would like to emphasize two points here. First, that the IAEA uh, has unfortunately um, been reduced to a, a watchdog, which is supposed to um, only look at um, if Iran is um, using its nuclear energy program for non-peaceful purposes. And another second thing is that um, the IAEA has uh, unfortunately um, abandoned totally its other uh, role, which is to uh, cooperate with Iran and other member states in terms of uh, peaceful nuclear energy uh, program. And um, that has uh, failed uh, regarding the, uh, this role, the professional role of IAEA. And unfortunately, even in, the, in its role as the watchdog, it has uh, failed to be impartial, uh, produce credible uh, reports, and also uh, be professional. So the whole thing that uh, has developed to, this, um, to end up with this resolution uh, lacks any credibility in the, face, in the eyes of Iranians and other uh, member states. Yeah, and also we know that Russia says this resolution should intensify dialogue between the IAEA and Iran, but also warns against using it to inflame tensions surrounding this issue. What's the most likely scenario now? Um, yes, you're right. I mean, Russia has been uh, quite vocal about uh, the lack of credibility of this, um, of, the fine, uh, of the last uh, IAEA report, because in that report, uh, IAEA mentions uh, one unnamed uh, country which has provided it with some of the uh, supposedly uh, evidences which uh, are supposed to um, claim that uh, Iran is um, not having a nucle uh, peaceful nuclear program. But IAEA IAEA is refusing uh, to hand in the name of that country to um, Iran and other member states, or even to provide Iran with uh, any document, any original document, so that Iran can answer some of the uh, concerns which has been raised by these reports, which, by the way, has nothing new in it. And it's all been answered by Iran in previous um, documents, which is a 117-page uh, document, clarification document, which Iran has provided uh, to the IAEA and uh, 118 members of non-aligned movement. But all of this has been um, dismissed by uh, the IAEA and other uh, countries which have influence over this issue, namely the five plus one. Um, I mean, the five um, members of the Security Council. So uh, I would conclude that um, none of these uh, resolutions or reports add anything new to the crisis in, uh, except for adding up to the confrontation and polarization which exists already uh, between the member states. All right, that was Shireen Savai from Campaign Against Sanctions and Military Intervention Overrun. Thank you very much indeed for sharing your views with us.